Hi, welcome back to the last minute cheat sheet for the Google Cloud Professional Data Engineering Certification Exam. Let's go through Google Cloud Dataflow's last minute cheat sheet today. I don't like the way Dataflow's data documentation is organized. It is difficult to follow to pass the exam. I learned my lesson in my first try of the exam. So let's take a look at the Cloud Dataflow Console first. Then I will go through the key topics in the way that I think will help you to pass the exam. When you log in Google Cloud Console, go to Dataflow. You will see two actions under Dataflow. Jobs to create a data processing jobs and a load box to develop a pipeline by using Apache Beam Interactive Runner with the JupyterLab load box. When you click Create a Job from a Template, under Dataflow Template, you will see the list of Google-provided templates, such as word count, streaming templates, templates for processing data continuously, batch templates, templates for processing data in bulk, and the utility templates. You can use your own custom template that you upload the code into the Google Storage. Let's select a pub sub subscription to be query to see what else you should fill to create the job. The template is a streaming pipeline that reads JSON format messages from a pub sub subscription and writes them to a BigQuery table. You will see the steps in the BigQuery diagram and the instruction on how to use this template. I will go through the components of the pipeline in the next video. You can follow the instruction to enter your parameter values in the provide parameter fields, then click run job button to finish creating the job. When you click create a job from SQL, it will open a new BigQuery console with the Dataflow engine. After you enter the Dataflow SQL query into the query editor, you can click Create a Cloud Dataflow Job to open a panel of job options. In there, you can click Show Optional Parameters to set any Dataflow pipeline options. You can also enter SQL query parameters, then create a job. You know, you can also use the gcloud command to create and manage data flow jobs instead of through the console. To launch Apache Beam Notebooks instance, you can click Notebooks, then click Add a New Instance. Select Apache Beam and follow the screen or click Advanced Options to create a new Apache Beam Notebook instance. I want you to be familiar with Dataflow's console, so it will be easy to go through the cheat sheet. Dataflow's key features that you should remember for the PDE exam are Dataflow provides a unified batch and streaming processing. It is built on Apache Beam, it can change and transform data from one format into another. The data flow architecture diagram I put here will help you to understand the pipeline workflow. Data flow is a black box that collects the sources and syncs. Data flow supports streaming, which is unbounded data, and batch, which is bounded data. Then write into a variety of syncs. Apache Beam offers connectors for sources and syncs. You can see these connectors on the Apache Beam's document built in I.O. connectors, or Google provided templates on these sources and syncs, such as file systems, for example, Hadoop file system, Google Storage, the messaging, for example, PubSub, 
Kafka databases such as Cloud Spanner, Cloud Bigtable, BigQuery, etc. Dataflow offers a bunch of benefits under the hood like the other source service, including create the work VM to execute the job, optimizing the pipelines, scale the source up and down based on the workloads, monitoring and log collection. You need to distinguish between the API Apache Beam SDKs, which are used to create the pipeline, and the implementation execution framework Cloud Dataflow to execute the job. Each step of the pipeline does a filter, group, transform, compare, join, etc. Transformers can be done in parallel. I will go through the key points on Dataflow's jobs pipelines, components, and transform operations in the next video. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.